Uh, Renners, uh, nil-nil, not what Leeds were after today, but it's another game unbeaten, it's another solid point. Yeah, it is. I mean, I, you know, obviously you want to win your own games, but I thought Leeds played well today and, um, you know, I thought they came up against a side that played just as well. I think we've got to give QPR some credit as well. But um, I don't think Leeds can be too down about the performance. I just think they, they perhaps, you know, lacked a little bit of quality in the final third. Um, but again, I think we've just got to give QPR some credit as well. The game, a few chances, probably the three best ones, fell to Connor Washington, and really he probably should have nicked at least one goal. Yeah, it did, but um, you know, and they had the better chances, particularly in the first half. They looked quite bright with big Matt Smith, uh, Matt Smith up front and Connor Washington running off him, and uh, he got in front of goal a couple of times when he should have done a bit better. But um, but another clean sheet for, for Leeds, and you know that is important in the running as well. It is. Brick Cup got your coral dot cut. You came out of the match. He, he's really seemed to have come into form last few weeks. Yeah, he's using all his experience, and you know he's found that little bit of uh, quality um, linking the ball through midfield and to the front. Um, you know he's a powerful boy as well. He gives you that little bit of physical presence in midfield. But I thought you know one of, one or two good performances again today. I thought both centre halves looked good again. You know it's another clean sheet. The goalkeeper's got to be pleased with that. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's all doom and gloom. Yeah, Rob Green, as much as Smithies didn't have anything to do at the other end, Rob Green just had one good save to make and he made it. Yeah, he did. And he stood up big when Washington got clean through. You know, he, 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 he didn't make his decision, he didn't make his mind up for him. He stood up big and Washington hit him and he made the good save and um, it was at an important time as well. Looking at it, Luke Ayling got booked, that means he's banned for two games, but the way Berardi's playing at left back, you can surely bring Taylor in, put Berardi back to right back. It's not the end of the world, that one, is it? No, it's not. I mean, I like Luke Kaling. I think he's had a great season. But I, I, I don't think you're going to miss, you're going to lose too much with Berardi going to right back. And I think you'll gain a little bit on the left-hand side with Taylor coming in there. Natural left footer. Um, you know, so I, I, I don't think it'll be um, you know, a, a, as big a loss as we, we, we think. And next week, obviously, Brighton coming to town. Maybe the last roll of the dice for Leeds in terms of the automatic promotion. They, they've got to beat them, haven't they? You think so, but I mean, you don't know. You, you've just got to keep going right to the very death, and I'm sure Leeds will. But um, you know, it'd be another big game for Leeds. Um, I think it's a testament to the season that they're playing in these big games. You know, when such as Brighton are coming and they're competing at the top end, the right end of the table. Um, you know, and I think sometimes when it when it's a draw and, and people go away disappointed, you forget how far Leeds have come. You know, and I, and I think they've done a, you know they've, they've done great this season, and they've just got to keep going. And working on the principle: if you can't win, don't lose. It's another point, isn't it? Exactly. You know, the amount of clean sheets that Leeds have kept down at Ellen Road is absolutely fantastic, and, and it goes for all the team. You know, they work hard, Leeds in midfield and up front, but you know, particularly at the back, I think they're organising strong and diligent, and, and, and it's probably as good as you're going to get at this level. So overall, dust themselves down. Come back next Saturday. Yeah, you, you've got to do. You know, I, I think that. Um, they, they'll, they'll probably feel that they did enough in the first half, you know, to, to maybe get their noses yeah. in front. Um, they haven't played badly. Um, yeah. We've got to give QPR some credit. It's the nature of the championship, uh, and I think Leeds will move on and be okay.